hi friends if you need any type of website you can contact us on the facebook link given in the description box below you can contact us and we will create any type of website so in this video we are going to convert a website into an android app as you can see this is one of our demo website which we have created have lot of function like this website if you want you can also order we will create it for you and we can check how to convert a website into an android app in this video this is one of the website we are converted into an android app you can check it on the play store and if you want you can download and check we can open the android app and it has a splash screen and logo image and all the settings on the website is available on the web app also a whatsapp chat option is available and there is a very beautifully designed product page is available so we in order to convert a website into an android app first we have to download and install android studio and we have to get a source code for this app the source code is free uh, available for free it's a giveaway from us so we can go to the video and install android studio to install android studio first we have to download java jdk to download java jdk go to oracle.com and download the jdk download click on that jdk download option and just select the windows installer just click on that and just agree the terms and condition and download the jdk for windows Okay, now it started to download. Now go to Android Studio, developer.android.com. Just click on and open the download Android Studio option. And here also agree the terms and condition and download the Android Studio. And wait for some time to get download the JDK and Android Studio. Once the Java downloaded, just open the Java and just install Java on your Windows. Just click on next. Click on next. okay now java is installed just close that and now open your environmental variables just open that edit the in system environmental variables and click on environment variables here select the system variables path click on edit and here you can add the newly added java jdk now just open your program file just open the c drive on your computer and click on program file and open the java folder and open select the binary folder as you are seeing the video just binary folder and click on ok and now your java is added on your 
system variables click on ok and click on ok once you finish that just open your command and just open that and just type java version and you can see the java version and all other details here ok now our java is installed successfully now we have to install android studio so just open the android studio which we are downloaded just open that and wait for some time click on next and click on next next and click on install and wait for some time and click on next and click on finish it will take some time actually this is an edited video that is why it will fast you can see ok now missing SDK click on next click on next and we have to install all these SDK components so click on finish and wait for some time and once it's finished we can open the Android Studio and we can use for our app ok Android Studio is installed and now we can create our project on the Android Studio first select open an existing Android project click on that and just open the source code which we are downloaded the link I will give in the description box below you can download from there and wait for some time to get Gradle Sync on is finish wait some time once you finish that open file project structure Here you can change the package name as you are seeing in the video. Change the package name. Here you can change the version. After changing, just finish. Wait until the grid will finish. Once finished, change the folder name according to our package which we have changed. Just change the package name. Make sure comeback direction should be disabled. Now you can change the package name and now right click and select refractor and change the package name. Change the folders according to the package name. Now open app folder and open the config file and here you can add the, your website address which you want to convert. Just paste your site address. You can add any address. Just paste it and here it, you can also give a title for your website. title you can add it here and now open resolution values strings open the folder like this and here you can change the app name you can change the app name here you can add all other details here one signal for 
for push notification you can add and now go to console.firebase.google.com and add a project you can create with your gmail account now add a project name and click on continue click on continue select an account create a project once the project is created just select the android app option and save your package name here and click on register app ok once you finish that download that google service json file just download it and click on next next come to our android studio and now we can change the google service json file just open that as you are seeing the video and open in explorer just open that folder and you can paste the newly downloaded file here Once you finish that, you can add an app icon. Just open your resolution folder and just right click and click on new and click on image asset. Here you can change your icon. Just select your icon from your computer and you can adjust the size of the icon here and now click on next and click on finish ok now our app icon is set now we can change the splash screen now just open your app folder source code folder and open the resolution folder and open the drawable xhdpi and copy the splash image name to your splash image name just copy that name and make sure your image should be in png format just rename to a splash image now just copy and paste it on the splash screen folder Now you can build your APK. Just go to build and generate signed APK and click on APK, click on next and set a key store path and select a file path. Here you can add a password and confirm the password and key alias you can add anything on there just add the password here also and all other details you can be added here like your name organization state city etc here
and the country code should be in capital letter two letter only just click on ok and now click on next click on release and next wait until it finish ok now our apk is generated now you can get it on your source code for, for folder now just install it on your mobile phone and you can check just installing on the mobile and you can check and you can add, upload this app into the play store also the source code i will give in the description box below you can get it from there if you like the video please subscribe our youtube channel thank you for watching the video